Dublin are the new All-Ireland champions champions of 2013 If you were managing a team to take on Dublin this year in the championship how would you set up against them? We've seen teams try to counteract their kick out Mead last year, Kerry last year and they had some good effects they got, they got a lot of wins out of it however it, it, it leaves open other areas you know we saw Derry in the, in the National League go quite defensive but it invited Dublin uh, half backs to come forward on the overlap on the shoulder and it didn't, it didn't uh, stop Dublin at all because Dublin are comfortable enough to leave their two full backs in 50 yards of space uh, and if they can see the goal they can see the goal but they're comfortable that they will they trust each other that they'll outscore the team at the other end uh, I think obviously counteracting Stephen Cluck's, uh, Cluck's and kickouts is important I think flooding that midfield area and cutting down that, the options around that area that he can't go longer he can't you know cutting out the short kick out as well as that long kick out we saw him hitting Paul Flynn and Dermot Connolly you know Dublin have, have are, are very well organised across that middle platform and I think it's getting that squeeze in that middle part I see any, any of the times that Dublin have struggled in the league this year where they've lost lost control of the game for periods is when they've lost the possession around the middle of the park and I would expect teams to flood that area to try and squeeze the life out of them, getting that platform, getting the ball into the forwards but at the same time the, the opposition team has to hold their shape, has to hold their shape and can't go into a, a real defensive line because I think in some ways it invites Dublin onto you if you do that and they will get the scores. If you were setting up a team to take them on, how would you set up that team? Well, up to now every team has gone man to man. The problem with man-to-man -man is that because of their pace that there's a st strong possibility that they will get an overlap. And when they get an overlap, they're unstoppable. Now, scenario number two is you imply a sweeper. But that means you're bringing a player from the forward line and you're, you're parking him back in defence. The danger with that, the biggest danger with that, is that the launching pad for most, for all of Dublin's attacks, come via Stephen Cluxton's kickouts. And if you're giving him a free option of a free man from the kickout, you are on a hiding to nothing because now Dublin have possession, now Dublin have the extra man, and when they're running at you in pace and given with the, the black card the day, with, with defender slow to challenge, it's very difficult to defend against. Certainly if you're going to set up innocently and naively and try to mark them man to man in the wide open space of Crow Park, kamikaze tactics, you're on a hiding to nothing. The game has changed so much, particularly with the black card introduction and, and you know, when I played and, and even up to last year, you know, when you were supporting a player, you were probably running 30, 40 yards to support them. We see now this year in the league, Dublin are running 60, 70 yards. You see cornerbacks come in supporting the midfielders and running on to come at the end of plays. There's huge, you know, positions don't mean anything to them at this present moment in time. But as a manager, you know, you've got to set yourself up and you have to start from a base have, you have to ask yourself the question, are you in enough of a condition to, to run at this team for 70 minutes? Are you physically strong enough? You know, and then you've got to ask you know, the tactical side of it. Do you allow Cluxton to take every kick out short? You probably do and then set yourself up in a defensive way. It might look ugly, but you've got to have everybody on the same, same hem sheet. These days everybody sits down and they look at these matches and they analyse them and they do the video analysis and so on. If you were setting up a team to take on Dublin, and to beat them, how would you go about it? Well, I think uh, anybody now has to view the, the Dublin forward line with, uh, a great, as a great threat to them. And they, I would think that there has to be a sweeper employed because I don't think any six backs in the country would hold the six Dublin forwards. I think the other thing is to try and expose their full back line. They have given away a lot of goal chances. And Dublin play in a sort of cavalier fashion. They sort of decide they're going to outscore somebody. So I think the only chance for any team to beat them this year will be to get three or four goals against them. I think that's the only chance.